I moved here in 2008 out of homelessness. A lot of memories I have is my daughter being able to be out here playing and me having that sense of security. Like, even if I didn't come to this door, sit outside and watch her, she was safe. Look at the years that we've been here. 20 something years. Everybody you speak to here, they're gonna tell you years like that. 24, 30 years. 15 years. This, people feel like this is their home. Altman came along and said in the second court that he would like to have a meeting with us. I'm thinking in my mind that maybe they're going to build playgrounds for the children or plant flowers because I love flowers and plants. And I always thought that would spruce up the neighborhood. Came and he threw a whammy. He said, you have until next year, July the 8th, to move out. We was like, look like Jeff, like, what? townhouses in 2003. I'm, I'm 64 now. I just, I want to stay yeah. if I can. It's my home. It's my home. That's the home I know right now. And so many people have got so many negative vibes about this, you know, but that's fine. I'm going to just be, be I'm going to be with everybody to the end. Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say. I'm going to fight this to the end with everybody. So, I live where those cones are, where he's walking. That was 3645 Market Street. These were all commercial properties. So it had a storefront window. My sister, my stepsister was a beautician, so it was her beauty parlor. She let us live in the two rooms in the back, 13 of us, and 12 children and two adults. I lived there from the 1940s, let's see until the 50s, early 50s. It was a very, very tight community. It was um, self-sufficient. Uh, it was largely made up of uh, poor, uh, working class and middle class families. Penn's push uh, to try to expand uh, came in the 1950s, 60s or so. We took a stand at 38th and Market Street uh, and decided we were not gonna move. We put barbed wire across 40th Street to stop cars from coming through. We built a trench uh, city in front of the bulldozers and was committed towards, if we damn the bulldozers, we will not move. And this fight just went on up until the 1970s uh, when in fact Penn had accomplished its, um, its goals and had um, pretty much wiped out the black bottom. These houses where we're standing in now, called University City uh, townhouses, weren't created until the 1980s or so. This is a sign of protest. And, uh, and I want to correct, this is not a homeless encampment. This is an example of what's going to happen to us when we are displaced. You have 68 families here. 
Where are all these people going? I'm sorry. I live okay. right here in this building, okay. and I know we're going to be next. If I knew where I was going and I had a place that I was going, I probably wouldn't be as worried. But a lot of us are worried because we don't have nowhere, we don't know where we're going. We're looking for houses and we're not able to find houses, especially with these vouchers. United, we're never be divided. It's, it's just been a lot of stress on me and everything. My nerves are bad already. I'm ner I get nervous. You know, now I gotta go out in the world and find somewhere to live. You know, just come out. It just hurts. It hurts. Sometimes I cry at night and, and say to myself, how did I get like this? Because how did I get myself in this predicament? Because I was always raised by strong women that said we had to work. And it, I would never tell nobody nothing different. I do agree. But it just didn't turn out like that for me. It just, but you know what? I still say like my grandmother tell us, it might rain today, but the sun is shining tomorrow. So I still have that hope to keep pushing. I still got it. It's, it ain't left. That fire is still in me. It haven't gone. So as long as that fire in me, I got, and you know, I got another day to another day that God gives me. I got to keep pushing. I got to keep pushing. I can't give up. I can't give up.